the sole university exclusively devoted to population studies globally with a state of the art computer center extensive library and more than 4000 alumni from 42 countries across asia africa and north america occupying key positions in governments universities research institutes reputed national and international organizations contributing immensely to evidence based policy for the government of india this is international institute for population sciences mumbai that completes a journey of 65 glorious years with pride and privilege this institute is like a mini india people come from a uh, different parts of the country when i spend more than 8 years in this fam- uh, in this institute i realized that it's actually a family after completion this course i am seeing the myself as a good researcher and the demographer in the field of the research i think iips has given me a new dimension to my life both personally and professionally the international institute for population sciences mumbai formerly known as the demographic training and research center is an autonomous institution under the aegis of ministry of health and family welfare government of india the institute seeks to create competent professionals generate and disseminate scientific knowledge and evidence collaborate and exchange knowledge create awareness and advocacy under the able leadership of 15 eminent directors the institute has demonstrated demographic expertise high quality research inclusive and knowledge based academia growth during last 20 25 years in iips is really phenomenal in uh, part of iips as a faculty during 90s uh, and i learned a lot of things in population studies population sciences uh, a lot of it during that time like library was a wonderful asset every journey begins with a single step our journey is one of nostalgia and memorable steps the seed for iips inception can be traced to the united nations sponsored world population conference of 1954 when the need for establishing demographic training center in developing regions was recognized this thought was echoed at the un seminar in indonesia 1955 leading to the foundation of the first DTRC at Bombay in July 1956 under the joint sponsorship of the government of India the United Nations and Sir Dorabji Tata Trust the primary objective of the center was to conduct scientific research and training on demography for Asia and the Far East The United Nations was not only instrumental in establishing the center but also contributed significantly to its growth by providing technical support, consultants and experts, fellowship to the students, books and electronic devices and funding to the institute. The Sir Dorabji Tata Trust played a pivotal role in the establishment of the center. Trust's willingness to donate 6 acres of land resulted in the center's being located in Mumbai. Several independent institutions too cooperated in the establishment of the center. Started under the directorship of Dr. K C K E Raja with two teachers, five UN consultants and eight students operating from a single room on the campus of T I S S. The center offered a one-year certificate course in population sciences C P S. Research areas included fertility, family planning, population projections and migration studies including urbanization along with an assessment of quality of census data. The office relocated to its present site at Govindi Station Road, 
Deonar in 1960. In the same year, a one-year advanced course diploma in population studies and a PhD program under the affiliation of the University of Bombay were introduced. The centre was registered as a society under the Indian Society's Registration Act 1860 on 16th August 1966. Later, in 1970, the name of the centre changed from DTRC to International Institute for Population Studies to reflect its global composition and contribution. The decade saw the expansion to the curriculum to include long study tours for students to visit other premier demography institutes in the country and learn from national experts. During 1981-82, the institute celebrated 25 years of glorious achievements marked by several structural changes. The library come computer center, guest house, five-storied hostel and the family welfare training and research center buildings were completed. The institute acquired the status of deemed university on August 14, 1985 and was renamed as International Institute for Population Sciences. I also didn't want to join because it was a project. IAPS was a project. It can be terminated anytime. But then I took efforts to make it a deemed university. I took the efforts, you know. Because since everybody was interested in this, they, I got the full support. I worked hard and then we made it a deemed university after so many troubles, you know, that if I start writing uh, what all difficulties I faced in making a project into a deemed university. It will run a book. But uh, I, because of the, it is a common interest, everybody gave me support. Because everybody is interested. No? And uh, we got the final orders on 14th uh, August 1985. That's why it is celebrated as Founders Day. The institute has since added courses in population studies like MPhil, three master's programs and PhD on regular and one master course via correspondence and a part-time PhD program. IAP stands somewhere in between if we rank one to five. Number of our alumni, you know, they are there throughout the world. You know, it's all started, I think, much before I joined I IAPS, I joined around 80 and the thing started in 56 or even earlier. So we have alumni from, you know, and not only the Indian students, but um, foreign students, you know, also. The development of the population clock was one of the highlights of 90s. The clock helped increase awareness on India's population. It was telecasted every morning on Doordarshan, the national TV channel, along with messages on small family norm and responsible parenthood. In the same decade, IIPS became the nodal agency providing technical support to National Family Health Survey and district level household and facility survey. Additionally, IIPS has conducted several large-scale multi-round surveys like SAGE, GATES, LASI, UPAI and Swabhiman etc. in the recent past. To look into the future of India, to use a component population projections, and they would almost certainly have to be at the state level, but to use component population projections as a framework for looking at where the country is going to go to over the next uh, 20 or 25 years. Um, looking at the implications of changes in population size and structure for things such as education, uh, employment, uh, administrative procedures, uh, energy use, uh, politics, and the environment. <music> The library has a combination of print, online and digital resources in its collection with more than 85,000 books and 4300 journal subscriptions. 
It has also India's most treasured digitized Indian census publications from 1872 to 2011. The ICT unit, initially established as Population Data Center in 1994, is equipped with high-speed computers, software, and network-attached storage. is a dream station for students and researchers. That is for training purpose as well as for the, I mean, faculty and students. You have a direct uh, involvement in national building policy, you know, program. Uh, you know, feed, uh, feedback to inputs as well as framing. The APS sole emphasis was really application. Application also means that it has a policy relevance. Application also means as you know, you are coming closer to the empirical reality, what is really happening in the society. Since its genesis, the institute has expanded from core demography to encompass diverse specializations like survey research, aging, gender, population and development, nutrition, and many more. Besides teaching and research activities, the institute also provides consultancy to the government, non-government organizations, and academic institutions. The Tree Line campus with two co-ed hostels is a vibrant place where cultural programs and festivals are celebrated with great enthusiasm. The balance of extracurricular activities with a research-intensive academic curriculum contributes to the holistic development of the students. As a Malayali, I had come across uh, uh, the str struggles to learn Hindi and now I can perfectly say that I am well at talking in Hindi. This is the first time we experience a hostel which is uh, not separated for boys and girls. So this was itself is, is quite a surprise to us. You know, a same hostel in, in Indian context, which is very unexpected. I definitely will be missing my college days and uh, feeling very proud on my college, IFPS Mumbai. From humble beginnings as a center, IIPS has achieved many milestones in a span of six and a half decades. We at IIPS have big dreams to grow in new ways reach more students and create a much more vital global presence that will enable us to engage with students and policy makers globally.